Nandi Hills Member of Parliament Alfred Kiteres has bitten or rather beaten the odds to triumph as a United Democratic Party ticket holder for the parliamentary seat. Kiter, a vocal critic of Deputy President William Ruto and the Jubilee administration, has faced off with the Deputy President's loyalists who accused him of disloyalty and asked the electorate to reject him. Citizen TV's senior reporter Seth Olale takes us through some of the highlights of a politician who has dared time and again to disrupt the political disorder, or rather the political order, yet still finds a way to remain relevant to his political base despite opposing the local kingpin. Take a listen. Alfred Kater's latest political conquest did not come without drama. After being announced the winner of the United Democratic Alliance Nandi Hills constituency nomination exercise, by the returning officer at Samoy High School. No certificate was issued to him. And even after the certificate was finally brought, it lacked the UDA party election stamp, forcing the incumbent MP to rush all the way to Kapsabe town where his certificate was finally validated. <laughs> But the outspoken legislator who was first elected Nandi Hills MP under the URP banner in 2013 before successfully defending his seat with the Jubilee Party in 2017 has had his fair share of drama within the political party he serves. His closest rival in the UDA nominations, Bernard Kitur was openly endorsed by a group of leaders allied to Deputy President William Ruto. Other leaders coming to dictate and lecture us on, in terms of uh, that some of us are not UDA members. You cannot have uh, been a candidate in a nomination of UDA unless you are a member. <laughs> Kater, who has not always seen eye to eye with the deputy president, appears to have marshaled what it takes to remain relevant to those that elect him, and he is taking on all comers. The other one won by a margin of 300. That is Oscar Sudi. To let you about Nandi. Yes. Yeah. To Pangwingwi, that's the word. <laughs> setting the tone of his response to critics who are also colleagues. I want to correct where you've said Ruto's allies. I think we are messing up with Ruto's name. These are individuals who have lost control, they've lost focus. Some of them can't speak one word in parliament. They can't even say Mr. Speaker, sir. The former university student leader stated that there have been numerous attempts to politically fix him due to his open and fierce criticism of the deputy president and the Jubilee administration, which has been blocked by divisions. In 2018, the Eldoret High Court nullified his Nandi Hills parliamentary re-election. The Court of Appeal overturned the lower court's decision media. Mwishimiwa Ketera na pigwa vita kwa sababu ya kupiga vita ufisadi Kenya mzima. It was also the same year he was removed by the Jubilee Party leadership from the National Assembly Labour Committee. No one is going to, is going to intimidate Keter. The Nandi Hills MP, who garnered 10,263 votes against his closest challenger, Bernard Kitur, who got 7,468 votes, says he is focusing on serving his party leader. The UDA Nandi Hills nomination ticket gives Alfred Keter's re-election bid a good launch pad in a region that is predominantly viewed as backing Deputy President William Ruto. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.